Today we will be giving a gameplay overview and review of the game My Village, created by Inca and Marcus Brand and published by Pegasus Fiel. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode with To Die For Games. I'm Mandy, the board gaming pinup girl. My fellow hosts are Tracy, the gaming maven. And I'm Steph, the games teacher. Are you looking to check out a particular part of the video? Maybe keen on seeing in the gameplay or the review? Click on the timestamps below and jump right to the part that you want to see most. Did you enjoy a particular part of the video? We would love to hear what you think or what you want to see next. So feel free to leave a comment below. Also, by clicking on the subscribe button, you will know as soon as there's a new video posted. My Village plays in about 60 to 90 minutes. It's suggested for ages 12 and up and accommodates two players. We've got My Village all set up and ready to go, so let's get to it. Objective. Players each have their own village and try to improve it by adding buildings, traveling, attracting customers, and training monks. As villagers die off, players are trying to get their villagers into the Chronicle, as well as training the next generation, all while avoiding losing their story points to rat invasions. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. Tracy, tell us what's inside the box. Components. Components! So exciting! Love the components. Components. One main board, four player boards, four overview cards, four Grim Reapers, and four 212 value tiles. Four headmen and a time marker, one for each player, 12 dice, eight standard, three black, and one gray rat die. One rat meeple, story point markers, black markers, day laborer tiles, 104 village cards, which include church, monk, council chamber, meeting place, field, travel, craft, and customer cards, a starting player hand token, score pad, and a rule book. All right, now that we know what we are playing with, how do we set up? Set up. Place the main board in easy reach of all players. Story markers, day laborers, and black markers are placed beside the main board. Each player takes their player board, overview card, Grim Reaper, and a two and a half value tile. Sort the village cards by type. Craft buildings, council chamber, and church cards are placed in overlapping fashion with the top half of each card showing. Travel cards are placed in shuffle stacks matching the letter on the bottom left part of the card, A through E. The meeting place and field cards are piled in their separate stacks. Monk cards are shuffled in their individual values and stacked side by side. Customer cards are shuffled and placed on the main board the top six are drawn and placed face up beside the board. The rat meeple and rat die are placed on their spaces on the main board. Starting player receives a start token, which is a player hand with a story point on it. Players place markers on the five villager spaces, the grim reaper on the bridge, the headman on the main house, and the time marker on the first hourglass to the right of the bridge of their player board. Players receive markers placed onto their money barn, depending on player order. The number of white and black dice are dependent on number of players. So now that we're set up, how do we play? Stefan? Gameplay. There are three steps to a player's turn. One, create your banner value. Players choose two dice, and add up the sums of the pips showing on their dice. Each black die moves a player's time marker by two spaces. Note, like in the original version, time is a form of resource that players use to pay for actions. Two, activate banners. Players can choose one of three options for this phase. A, activate exactly one black banner. The dice sum matches one of the values on the card. Some cards have two values. Then the player will pay any additional costs under the banner in order to activate it. 
Activating a card allows you to take the action, collect the card, or take the start player token. B. Activate one or more white banners in their village. Once cards are collected into a player's village, they are turned over so the white banner is showing. When a player activates a white banner, they take the action on the card. This action allows a player to activate any or all banners that match the sum of the pips on the dice taken. Important. The villager that matches that card color must be active or the action cannot be taken. C. Activate the black question mark banner of their village. The question mark banner allows players to secure their story points. Moving their headman from the main house to the story tree allows players to guarantee their story points won't be lost in a rat invasion. But they must be brought back to the house in order to do so. 3. Check if any villagers pass away. If a player's villager passes away, they are placed in the chronicle, which is worth points, or in an unmarked grave, which is not. If a player dies, the player rolls the rat die and moves the rat. If the rat reaches the rat invasion space, a rat invasion occurs, forcing all players to lose half of their story points rounded down. Game end. The game ends when a certain amount of graves, both chronicle and unmarked, are filled. The amount is based on the number of players. Players count up their points from the chronicle, the spots they filled, points on the various village cards, and any story points that made it to the main house. Also, one point to the player who has the starting hand token. The most points at the end of the game wins. So that is how you play My Village. So now it's time for our review. What did you guys think of My Village? I love its big brother, The Village, or Village, I think it's just called. And it's in my top five, so this one I figured right away it was going to be right up there with it. I also really like this version as well. Uh, also a big fan of Village, the original game, and this one really hit it for me. I was kind of, eh, eh, ah, so I liked it. <laughs> Not in the beginning, I was a little worried, but uh, overall I really liked it. And again, I also enjoyed the original, so I enjoyed this one. So let's jump right into artwork and theme. What do you think about that? I love the, the theme is very consistent with the original one, very medieval village-like. The artwork is also very consistent in that feel. It looks really nice, very bright, and you can definitely distinguish the various areas of the village by the colors of the cards. Yeah. I agree. I enjoyed the artwork in this. It's very similar. The iconography is very similar to village, and it really, it really worked for me. I felt like I was coming home to an old friend. Aww. Nice. It's like has that warm quality to it. The colors that are used with the reds and the orange and the mm. yellows and you know it's called my village. It is your little village because you get your own little you know board and so yeah so I, I enjoyed that part of it and the quality of Kimono's the actual how they felt were good which we'll jump into our next thing but overall artwork I liked. It tied into the theme. You saw villages, there were villagers. Mm. It worked. Quality of components, I just kind of jumped ahead there. Um, I'll start, but uh, the cards were quite nice. Overall, the boards were good, so nothing was flimsy. So if you had the original game, it was comparable to that. What did you guys think about that? There's a lot of pieces. Just like the original <laughs> game, there's a lot of pieces, so you're going to be spending about 20 minutes organizing the different cards into their different true. piles before you even get to play. So plan ahead. Yes. One thing that I missed from the original game in this version was all the wooden meeples yeah. that you had, your family of meeples and they don't exist in this one, and this, they're black cylindrical tokens that you use to define your, your different villagers. I felt that was a little lacking, but didn't really detract from the gameplay overall. I'm like, does that make me feel less guilty about killing them off? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was why. <laughs> no, but yes, I agree with you on that one, though. The, the, it just, it, I did like the meeple, I don't know, maybe because it looked like people. I don't know if that makes me a bit of a lunatic, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, did, I did miss that part. Maybe that's something you could do for a deluxe version. Oh, oh. Oh, and speaking of killing off, the yeah. Grim Reaper component, uh, what's with that? Yes. What's with the Grim Reaper? I didn't get it. <laughs> I, I was so, I was like, the Grim Reaper, yes! 
oh no, no, like it was falling apart. I'm like, if we're gonna do this, it needs to be good. And I was a little disappointed. I'm like, hey, you know what? I just didn't even use it. I mean, I understood the game itself because I played Village. It's very similar concepts with the time, passing the bridge, someone's gotta die. So yeah, it was cool. But the piece itself that was made, I apologize. I just really, that needs to be fixed. Yeah, it didn't really serve much of a purpose other than aesthetically. So I also just kind of let it sit on my bridge and it just kind of hung out there intimidatingly. Villagers <laughs> that came by ready to meet its maker. Exactly yeah. what they just said. I, I fully agree. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're, okay, so that's the one thing, okay? Uh, game mechanics. Maybe we'll start with, uh, what do you think? I like the time as a resource. Yeah. Spending time to take actions makes logical sense. And I found one thing that was lacking for me, I guess, in the original game, you had black cubes that were plague cubes. You had to take the black cubes in order for the game to proceed. Someone did, and it cost them extra time. In this, they're replaced with black dice, which are plague dice, mm -hmm. that serve a similar purpose. They cost extra time to take those black dice, but right. I didn't feel that you were forced to take the black dice as often as you should. Yeah. And so, for me, that was a bit lost. Now, I almost wonder though, with the, the black dice, maybe you didn't feel any take that, but that they kind of got you in other ways with some of the cards, like whether it be just what you, what you have, um, the requirements in order to obtain a card. I thought some of them were kind of hard. Yes. You know what I mean? Especially to, to, to keep resources, but especially when you have to, to kill off your family members. I mean, you don't have that many to begin with. It's not like the original village where you have generations. So if you kill somebody, you have, oh, sorry, can't do any farming now because I killed off the farmer. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess they had to find some way to balance it. But I, I, I'm just throwing that out there, so. Um, what do you think? For me, the most interesting mechanic is the dice. It's a dice game, <laughs> but do not be fooled, people. It is just as hard, and like you said, maybe yeah. even harder than yeah. the original game. The, the dice are just simply a uh, change in mechanics, but they don't make it easier by any means. It's yeah. still a very strategic game. People automatically assume you hear dice, oh, it's easy. Uh, no, you still need to have a bit of strategy here. And for me, it was the church. Oh, it's great for me. It worked out quite well. I never win, so I have to celebrate a little bit. Um, so I found that worked for me. I don't know. You guys tried some other strategies in the game. I did. I went a little bit with the council chamber in one game and a travel in the other. Right. So I like to try each one out a little bit, see what one works for me. And yeah, yeah. I've played it several times and I still haven't won yet. So <laughs> I, I'm still trying to find my proper mechanic. <laughs> try the church cards. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, so I think we've covered everything. So overall, I enjoyed this game. I enjoyed the original, so, and I took me a while to get there, but I did also really enjoy this as well. So two thumbs up for me. Two very big thumbs up for me. Huge thumbs up. <laughs> and we all own it, so you know, we're kind of biased. <laughs> Anyways, well, thanks so much for joining us and uh, watching our show about uh, My Village. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Go do it. it. There's nothing like it. That's Come play our copy. Play do it. Okay. Just do it. We're still live, Paul? Absolutely. All right, here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one.